It's right under our noses. A scientist reveals what creatures allegedly dwell on Mars, and he says that he's got photo evidence. It's one thing for conspiracy theories to claim that there's aliens or life on Mars, and it's another thing for a researcher or scientist to be claiming this. A scientist argued that arthropod body segments can be seen on many of the Mars images available to the public. And that one image apparently even shows an insect flying. The professor of Ohio University, William Ramoser, he's a specialist in abrovirology and general medical entomology, the study of insects. And he recently made a very interesting contribution on the quest to determine whether life does exist on Mars. And he announced that missions to the Red Planet have already provided us with enough evidence. And he claims that yes, there is life on Mars. He presented his findings at the national meeting of the Entomological Society of America just a few days ago. Yes, that is yesterday, November 19. Ramoser claimed that he managed to discover numerous examples of insects and even reptile-like forms, and that they were fossilized, both fossilized and living forms, while he was examining photos of Mars that are available to the public online even. He says there has been and still is life on Mars. There is apparently diversity among the Martian insect-like fauna, which display many features similar to Terran insects, meaning our earthly insects, that are interpreted as advanced groups. For example, the presence of wings, wing flexion, agile gliding flight, and variously structured leg elements. This is what he claims. The professor insists that arthropod body segments can be picked out on numerous images of Mars, and he says, and one even appears to show one of these insects in a steep dive before pulling up just before he hits the ground, or it hits the ground. What can I tell you? I haven't seen these, but for him to be saying this and to be uh, putting his uh, evidence forward means that he's got the images. Now, according to the university's website, no content was added or even removed from these images Romoster worked with, so he didn't touch the images. Uh, they were what was given to the public by NASA and that the criteria he used include, quote, dramatic departure from the surroundings, clarity of form, body symmetry, segmentation of body parts, repeated form, skeletal, skeletal remains. He's talking about the, um, you know, the fossilized, and observation of forms in close proximity to one another, end quote. And then he goes on to say, once a clear image of a given form was identified and described, it was useful in facilitating recognition of other less clear, but nonetheless lavid images of uh, the basic form, the same basic form. An exoskeleton and jointed appendages are sufficient to establish identification as an arthropod. Three body segments, a single pair of antenna, and six legs are traditionally sufficient to establish identification as in insect on Earth. These characteristics should likewise be lavid to identify an organism on Mars as insect-like. On these bases, arthropodian insect-like forms can be seen in the Mars rover photos. End quote. This is astonishing. This, this is, I can't believe this. So, okay, our... Our, our missions to Mars mean that uh, the astronauts are going to have to put up with um, somehow protecting themselves from these insect-like beings. Can you imagine that? Now, the researchers noted that the, the existence of these higher metazoan organisms on Mars, quote, implies the presence of nutrient energy sources and processes, food chains and webs and water, as elements functioning in a viable, if extreme, ecological setting sufficient to sustain life, and that this diverse discovery 
represents a solid justification for future study, further study. So, what does NASA and other space agencies have to say about Mr. Romoser's claims? Because, you know, these are the images taken by NASA's Mars rover. This is on Sputnik News today. If you'd like to join me on my Patreon account, you will hear content not covered by mainstream media. These riveting stories will be based on my research and I will state my opinions and give my personal insight on diverse and controversial subjects and world events, events not covered by mainstream media and not certainly on not supported by YouTube guidelines. So whatever I have on my Patreon, most of those will not be on my YouTube channel. Please consider becoming a member today. More of the, the most significant and important videos will be on my Patreon channel. Your support helps me to continue my research and keeps this YouTube channel alive. And we depend on your support, your generous charity, because we help economically challenged families here in Athens, Greece, in Kapota, and we also help the young generation with university tuition and the community around our church. Thank you.